Hey guys, here we are on the show floor at Imaging USA 2015. I'm Larry Becker on the show floor for Kelby One and B&H. And I've stopped by the Lytro booth and this is David Sparrow. David, what's your role here? I'm Director of Education and uh, Photography for Lytro. This is all new technology to a lot of us photographers. And this is the second generation, the new model. We all saw the, the little uh, square Lytro yes. when it first came out. And this is a lot different, but tell people, what is this all about? So the light field camera it produces a very different image than a conventional camera. A conventional camera will capture three-dimensional data in the field into a single plane, which is what we're used to. This camera actually captures three-dimensional data. So you can think of the file as being a, a deep file, right? It's, it's got a lot of information in there. And then you can move around in there with a bunch of different deliverables that are very unique that people have never seen before. So this totally changes the concept of depth of field for a photographer. It does, it does. Depth of field still exists, right? That doesn't change. And actually, if you think about depth of field, you can understand light field photography very well. There are a lot of similarities. Very interesting, and there, there are specific tools that you provide to help people understand that when they're capturing the image. That's correct. One of the big challenges when using uh, a light field camera is understanding where's the front of the, light, of the refocusable range, where is the back of that range. Because you need to fill that range with information to get a good interactive photograph. So we do provide tools. There's the light throw button on the top of the camera. You press that button, it brings up another screen. Uh, close objects are highlighted in blue. Far objects are highlighted in orange, and you can move around in there. Right, and it kind of looks like focus peaking on other cameras, that, that kind of setup on the screen. It is, it's just like focus peaking near and far. And then there's a focus histogram, uh, or depth histogram, so you can see um, in a histogram type manner how the image, you know, where the areas of sharpness in the image are. Let's talk about the finished image that comes out of this. Is, is it, uh, what kind of finished images um, can photographers produce using this technology? How big, what kind of resolution, how does that compare? Okay, so resolution is different with this camera. Sure. Because we're capturing three dimensional data. So the file is 50 megabytes. And that would, you would say, okay, that's a great file. I can make a huge print. Right. But that represents three dimensional data. So when you have the light field, if you slice through, however you want to cut through it, which you can in many different ways and make many different effects, output a still like a TIFF or a JPEG, that would be a four megapixel file. Okay. So, but then the beauty of the still image is I can do multiples. So uh, you could do one focused on you, you could do one focused on me, you could do one with both of us sharp and the background sharp, both of us sharp, the background soft. We could be F16 on us, F1 on the background. We could do it like a tilt shift lens, a lot of things you can do. But sure. more importantly, you can also host living pictures. So we offer a free account on Lytro.com where your, your uh, viewer can go in and actually look at the image, control the image, they can, they can move it around. This is the end user or the, like the customer of the photographer? Yes, the customer of the photographer, if you, so, if you so desire, you can share that. Or you can keep it from them. You can animate inside an, a living picture. And what we're showing on these big monitors is uh, a 3D animation and a 2D animation, all from still living pictures. So all that movement, all that stuff comes from single frames. And then you can deliver those, which can be shared on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whatever you want to share. Yeah, there's so much digital media out there and we're all sharing it online. And this gives you so much more control to deliver so many more images from a single shutter click. That's correct. We also have a mobile app, which you could have on your iPad or on your cell phone, and you can do the same kind of functionality for viewing images. Now, the interesting thing about what this camera has to offer is the files are unique. Nobody has seen stuff like this before. So when you deliver this to your client, they, they, they take a double take, They're, they freak out over it. Um, I recently got married and I have a gallery of eight living pictures up online that I shared with all my friends and family, as well as a really beautiful photograph, a still photograph, conventional photograph shot by Charles Maring. And he shot living pictures as well, but uh, I love the, the still picture, sure. but I got no response from it whatsoever. It was like, okay, it's out there. But the living pictures, that's a different story. I got thousands of people responding to me saying, wow, what's that? That's cool. How do you do that? The big thing, what is it? It got noticed and reshared. So there's, there's a lot of, you know, it's spread like wildfire. It's, it's incredible awesome. technology. Of course, it's available right now at BH. And if you follow the uh, link in the lower third, you'll be able to get to the Lytro camera there on the BH website. David, thank you so much for sharing your time here at the busy Lytro booth yeah. at Imaging USA 2015. Thank you.